Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video on my favorites for the month of February to show you guys what I've been loving. These are things that I've probably had for a while. Maybe I've been using them for a while and some are even newer and some were in my collection, but I kind of neglected it and kind of rediscovered it in a way. And I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. And for starters, the first product is going to be like, ah, whatever. But let me tell you something. This was the main product for probably the entire year, not just the month of February and it was this CarMax original formula what is this this is for your lips but this stuff is incredible guys I have felt like maybe at the end of December all of January February and still that I've had very dry lips probably the driest lips that I've ever had and I feel like since I love to wear lipstick so much, there's so many lipsticks that just bring out the cracks and just make my lips look even worse. And after like an hour of applying lip gloss or applying lipstick or whatever it may be, they look horrible. They look horrible because my lips are just that dry. So I felt like I needed something to put on my lips at night, throughout the day, whenever I don't have lip gloss on or lipstick on, or maybe underneath the product that I'm using as well. And I've been using so many things. Some stuff are like super fancy and... I don't know and my husband just pulled this out and he was like Nadia this is what I have and this is what you need to use he's like I don't know what else you're using but this is the bomb and I used it one day because I had no choice because I didn't have anything else with me and basically I never gave it back to him this stuff has like the best cooling effect to your lips it's super cheap if I'm not mistaken my husband bought it but I saw it in the store I think it was somewhere between two to three dollars so it's really ch uh, really cheap and you get a decent amount of product in here and let me tell you something this I keep it next to my bed it stays with me it goes in my purse I only have one I think I'm gonna get like two more so that I could just hand up, have them in random places and I'll buy one for my husband so I can give it back to him. But if you guys find yourselves with really dry lips, I was even getting it dry around here and this really helped me with that. And also I felt like a lot of things I was using, I would put it on at night and when I woke up in the morning, my lips were dry like I never put anything on and I didn't feel that way about this product like I put it on and in the morning I still felt like it was on my lips because my lips were still moisturized so hands down some of the cheapest things in life guys are like the best things in life and since I'm still on the topic of um lips I have been loving these. I always have to read the name. Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I own a lot of them. I've always said that I love these things. But also during this time that I've had my dry lips throughout this year, these things, these products are like... I don't know they're they're working good even when my lips are dry they're working great with me because they're not showing the cracks in my lips they're not flaking off they're lasting a really long time they're very creamy on the lips and there are other lip products that I have been using that I feel like you know they they they're good when I first put them on and then after an hour they look horrible but these things of course it's a stain so the actual color stays on my lips and then I feel like it goes on really well and even if I check my lips like three hours later maybe the gloss is gone from it but the color is still there and my lips don't look horrible and that's the main key because I hate when they're all cracked or there's a line you know forming in them in, on my lips like it's just ugly and this hasn't done it at all. So I've been loving, really loving, extra loving my Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stains for the month of February. Also recently, if you've seen my empties videos, I just finished my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which looks just like this, but it's like the black and um, purple bottle. And I decided to try this one, the D-Slick one, which is the same thing, Urban Decay. And let me tell you something, I've been loving this one a whole lot more. The setting spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter one, it does set my makeup, it does keep my makeup on my face, but I feel like this is a two-in-one because not only does it do that, but it stops like shine from coming on my face throughout the day so by the end of the day not only do I have less shine on my face but also my makeup stayed on and it is the same price it's not like I, I paid more for this it's basically the same price as the other one so I feel like this is doing way better than the all-nighter setting spray so I would keep buying this one 
Um, as for foundations, I, I pulled out of my uh, collection because I bought it. I used it maybe one or two times when I first bought it and I kind of neglected it, started using other things. And I fell in love with this again. This is the, who makes this? Maybelline? Yes, this is the Maybelline Superstay Makeup. And this is a serious full coverage foundation. I've been finding myself to get a lot of breakouts also. I've been getting a lot of pimples and I have a lot of blemishes that I feel like I have the need to cover up. And this is doing the job. This is literally like full coverage. Like I said, like it covers everything. And I feel that's even better because since I use a lot, I use the foundation and then I normally have to go to my concealer. I do the same thing with this. I put this on and then I put my concealer on, but I feel like I'm using way less concealer. And I am because this is covering up so much more and it lasts all day. It does transfer just a little bit, but honestly, a lot of the products that I've used transfer a whole lot more than this. So it doesn't transfer that much, but it does transfer a little bit. So I would definitely try this out guys. And it's cheap as well. I want to say it's about $10 also, just like other Maybelline foundations. So this stuff is good. As for blush, I recently purchased this. I want to say I bought it back in January and I used it for a lot of February. And this is the Milani Bake Blush. I do not own a lot of these blushes. I know that a lot of people love these blushes and now I see why. I only own two. I own Red Vino, which is really dark. And this is my second one, which is 05 Luminoso. And it looks like this, guys. It is beautiful. It's like with this blush, you don't even need a highlighter. All you need to do is just apply it on your cheeks. It gives you the perfect flush of a peachy, pinky color. And it really lasts all day. Like, honestly, I've been finding that it lasts all day. This and my NYX... Um, blushes have actually been lasting longer than my MAC blushes throughout the day. So I've been really loving it. Not only the product itself, but like I said, this actual color, because this color is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I've been loving that one. Um, still on lips. I forgot to mention this. Um, I, I, put, I purchased this recently. It was in my most recent haul. This is from the new Milani collection. This is the Milani lipstick in 05 red label. And this is the lip liner to accompany in it in true red, 02 true red. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's a beautiful red color. And what I like about it is that it lasts all day. If you guys haven't seen my other haul, this is what it looks like. It is not matte. I don't want to say that it's completely shiny but it's not matte. It's probably like more of a satin. It has more of a satin finish to it. And I absolutely love the lip liner. Like I love the lip liner more than I love the lipstick and I love the lipstick. Like literally I just use the lip liner. I fill it all in and then I apply some of this over it and it lasts all day. And I think that's what helps the lipstick last all day is the is being accompanied by this lip liner because literally I think maybe throughout the day, Let's say I put it on in the morning, maybe I touch it up once, if even twice throughout the day. And for red lipstick, to me at least, that's pretty good because red lipstick is high maintenance lipstick. And I love this combo and super cheap. That's what I love about this, guys. I think this lipstick cost me like five bucks and the lip liner maybe four bucks. So can't complain. I got mine at CVS. And I've been loving for months and months and months now. This is another Holy Grail product. This is my Maybelline Master Shape for my eyebrows. It has a waxy side, and then which is the actual color. And then this is a little spoolie on the opposite end. And I love this stuff. The only thing that I don't like is that it finishes like ridiculously fast. Like by the time you blink, you're done with this. I wanna say maybe one of these lasts me two months tops because I use it every day. But as you can see, that's what I use to fill in my eyebrows. I feel like it's really easy. I feel like a lot of people also are not gonna like it because it is very waxy. So for that reason, if you're not into having the waxy, you know, nis on the eyebrows from the actual pencil, you're not gonna enjoy this product as much as either you love it or you hate it kind of thing. But I do like it because I feel like the wax, the waxiness of it kind of keeps my, you know, my hair in place. And of course the spoolie is just an extra tool, beautiful extra tool to have on the side to make it look more natural. And I just love it. I just love it. It's just a pain in the butt. You have to sharpen it. Like every other usage, you have to sharpen it and it finishes quick. But let me tell you something for things that you love, you'd be surprised what you do. 
And one of my last favorites is actually a product that I'm wearing now too. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes. This is a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in Walking on Eggshells. I purchased this maybe three or four months back because I heard a lot of hype on it. I do own a lot of Wet n Wild um, eyeshadows. This is not my first one, nor is it my second or my third. But I never bought this one. I just seemed like, oh, I have the naked palettes and stuff like that. Why do I need it? But I love the finish that it gives. I don't know if you guys have ever used it. This is the brow bone color, the crease color, and then this is the color that they say to you could put on your eyelid, brow bone, crease, and eyelid, and literally I wore it just like this. I have the top, the top one as my brow bone, I use this brown one in my crease, and all over my lid I have this one that is like a, it's a it has a pinkish tone to it, it's like a more pinky um, eyeshadow. And I really like it, they are not matte at all, they have a more, um, shiny finish to them so if you're not into that as well you're not gonna like it but I really do like it guys like I love it I really love it and I mean stuff like wet and wild you can't beat it for the price like $2.99 I think this is $2.99 and that's not on sale so imagine if you get it on sale so anyway guys I've been really enjoying like the favorites that I've been seeing this month I've been like watching a bunch of favorite videos and I was like let me do my favorites because there's a couple things this past month, even January and February, that I've been using like a whole lot. Like I might as well just leave them out on my vanity because I rock them all the time. So I wanted to show them to you guys. If you guys have any questions about any of the things that I've showed you, link it down below. And if you haven't used this and your lips are dry, I recommend that you go get this. I mean, it's like two bucks, two bucks, two ninety nine tops. And, um, you could get this. And like I said, all almost all of this stuff I showed you guys is drugstore stuff except for the uh, all-nighter setting spray. But everything is really cheap. I want to say $9.99 and under except for the setting spray. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're having a great weekend, all that good stuff. And as always, take care and thank you for watching. Bye.